Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So uh, today I want to get started on a 3D project. Uh, there's this really cool website called uh, GrabCAD. If you're not familiar with it, uh, it's called Grab uh, GrabCAD.com. And what's cool about this is you can go in here and you can download all kinds of models. Uh, it's a really, really cool place to um, get uh, files that you may want to do some testing on or practice with. So if you're not familiar with GrabCAD, I highly recommend uh, you take a look and set up an account. Uh, this is one of the files that I got here. I thought it was kind of cool and would make a good start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is isolate uh, the model. So I'll isolate this side of the geometry. So that's what I want to get started with. Now, the next thing I'm going to do from here is just set up my job. So I'm going to go through and just run the stock wizard. Uh, I'll let it find the minimum maximum and I'm just going to set the origin on the bottom of the part and then I'll choose OK. All right. So there's always this question of do I do 2D machining or do I do 3D machining? Uh, in this example, I'm going to do an adaptive pocket to come into these bosses here and clear all this material. All right. So in order to do that, I need to create some geometry. So I'll create a new layer, make it active. I'm going to go to utilities, extract edges single. I will pick up these faces here, space bar to lock them in, right click cancel to get out of the function. And then I'll turn off the visibility of that layer. So I just see this geometry here. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is just window pick to get rid of um, this geometry that I don't need and then I'll hit delete on my keyboard. I'll trim up this profile here from here to there. Okay, I will cancel and get into select, shift, collect, uh, shift click this profile and then turn it into a dotted line. All right, so what that does is give me, it gives me an open pocket to come, come in from the outside and uh, work its way into these bosses. Okay, so now I'll get back into the cam tree, uh, right click, mill to axis, select geometry, uh, shift click, shift click, shift click. So that selects all of our geometry. We can look at chain number one. I'm not too concerned with chain number two. Let's see if we can change our uh, start position. I'm just gonna make it in the middle of this section here. Chain number three, we're gonna change our start position to here. That's great. And then for pick bottom, we're gonna go ahead and just select the wireframe here. So we have the depth set and then we'll choose OK. All right, so we got our pocket set up. Now, I'm gonna do a pocket routine with a pocket routine with a profile finish. So pocket, pocket, profile finish. Uh, the first pocket, I'm gonna use a half inch end mill, that's fine. This one is gonna be an adaptive pocket. I'll do a 25% step over. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, I'm going to leave some stock on the wall and some stock on the floor. The second pocket, I'm going to do a zigzag pocket. And this one, I'm not going to leave any stock on the floor, but I will leave some stock on the wall. And then the last one is going to be this profile and uh, zero the stock out. And I'm just going to run a lead in and lead out. And there we go. I'll go ahead and compute this and this will rough out all the material, leaving the peace signs as bosses. Uh, then it will come back and pocket the floor with a zigzag pocket to finish it. Um, really just to give a different uh, tool uh, pattern. And then uh, the last one is going to be uh, profiling the wall for the finish here. So, you know, one of the things that, um, that I didn't uh, consider, let me blank these out is this second pocket here, the, the tool is really trying to stay inside of that boundary, which is, uh, which is true. It would generally try to do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, skip, uh, instead of using a zigzag, I'm just going to come into like an advanced pocket, which would be an open pocket. Let me finish and then I'll recompute this one. And then that way it clears it all the way from the outside. The only thing I don't like about the open pocket is, um, it tends to move up and around a lot, but that's uh, that's okay for this example here. So we did our adaptive roughing, we did our pocket routine to finish the floor, and then we did some profiles 
to finish the walls there, okay? So I want to um, kind of pick up where we left off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file to GrabCAD and I'll put a link to it in the video uh, description. Uh, so this way you can uh, download the file and see where I'm at and also uh, work with it yourself. If you have any uh, questions or comments, you can reply back to the video um, or maybe the After Dark group or wherever uh, you may see this uh, video loaded. Again, uh, I, it's just the start of a new project, so I hope you join us along this journey. Uh, I hope you're having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, okay? So thank you so much, and I'll let this uh, simulation play out a little bit. Let me just run it all the way through uh, so we can see what we had left, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let me just pause this and I'm going to do next stop in order to speed ahead and then I'll do next stop again. So that's the finish on the floor and then next stop again and then what that will do is finish on the walls. Okay, so look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.